November 13th, and maybe the weather was an indication it would be Marshall's Day in Kalamazoo. With 30,472 on hand, the Broncos supposed to give Marshall its stiffest test of the season. But all the herd gave Tim Lester was a headache. The senior quarterback scrambling for his life, and Andre O'Neill on the interception. And Marshall wastes little time. Duck Chapman three yards away on the sweep to the right side. The herd leads seven nothing. But Lester would show some flashes of brilliance. Here he finds his favorite receiver, Steve Neal. And Western working into Marshall territory. And then Robert Sanford does the honors. With the touchdown run, he gives Western the 10-7 lead. Chad Pennington had seen enough. He and his offense go back to work. Pennington up top to James Williams. And he takes it down to the Bronco one yard line. Pennington would call on fellow senior Doug Chapman to take it in. So just before halftime, Marshall retakes the lead, 14 to 10. Western would give it one more shot. Tim Lester trying to find a receiver. Call this a coverage sack. Ralph Street does the rest. So both teams retreat to the locker room. 14-10 herd leads. Second half, it was three and out for the Broncos. Just 54 yards total rushing on the afternoon. Jimmy Parker with the stop. From there, Pennington goes to work to Nate Poole. One of his six catches on the afternoon. Then from the 19-yard line, Pennington to the end zone to James Williams with some acrobatics. Marshall up now 21 to 10, and the defense wasn't done yet. But the woes would continue for Tim Lester. Looking to the sidelines, and Yancey Satterwhite is there for the interception. Marshall right back in business. J.R. Jenkins converts the turnover into three. 24-10, Marshall up by two touchdowns. More defense, Lester snowed under by John Grace and Danny Derricott. Back on offense, and the Broncos continue to play. Where's James Williams? The senior wideout gets free deep into Western Michigan territory. From there, Pennington with the inside screen to Lanier Washington, and the herd has basically put this one away. 31-10 now, Marshall's defense with five sacks on the afternoon. Still a couple of messages to send to the senior quarterback, Tim Lester. Paul Toviesi on the stop, and then one more time. The pressure unbearable for Tim Lester. Marshall's thundering herd, impressive in Kalamazoo. Final score, 31-17. November 26th, the rainy day in Huntington, the battle for the bell. But first things first, the herd recognizing 18 seniors, the winning a senior class in the history of college football. Old friends Bob Pruitt and Jim Grobe on opposite sidelines, the herd and the Bobcats ready to get it on. Freshman quarterback Dontrell Jackson finds the going difficult. Max Yates on the stop. And on this rainy day, Finding positive yardage would be oh so difficult for the Ohio Bobcats. The Cats would manage to get on the board first. Kevin Kerr with a 53-yard field goal, and the Cats lead it 3-0. But the herd would quickly counter. Inside the 30, and going toward the end zone for the touchdown! David Foy. And the junior wide out from Charleston's Capitol High helps give the herd a 7-3 lead. Chad Pennington and the herd offense would make an intrusion into Ohio territory again. Nate Poole going over the top, down to the one yard line. From there, Chad Pennington changes plays at the line of scrimmage like second nature. On fourth and goal, 
Pennington. They give it to Chapman, who lunges into the end zone for the touchdown. Ran it right at him. The herd would go to the locker room up 10, 13 to 3 over the rival Bobcats. Second half, Marshall's offense starts to warm up. With help from the defense, of course. Just 218 yards total offense for Ohio. No matter, up the middle, left side, right side, the herd's defense was there. And you just can't give Chad Pennington too many chances. 378 yards passing on the afternoon. This big hook up to Nate Poole. And he continues to dissect the defense, this time to his tight end, Greg Kellett. Now from the eight yard line. First and goal. They'll run the ball, Chapman, who walks in. His second touchdown of the afternoon. The herd leads it 20 to three, and that defense continues to frustrate the Bobcats offense. And that gives the herd offense another opportunity. Pennington to James Williams, deep into Ohio territory. James Williams does the work. James Williams gets the reward. Pennington rolls against the grain, guns for the end zone. There is the second catch for Williams, and it's good for six. Time for Marshall's special teams to shine. Michael Owens on the big hit. And the junior from Logan, West Virginia, receives congratulations. Then it's defense by committee. And then the offensive thunder rolls one more time. They're bringing seven. And Pennington's going deep for Williams, who catches it in stride, runs past the official, and toward the end zone to score. A 71-yard touchdown strike. Jason Starkey gives chase to Bob Pruitt as Marshall completes another perfect regular season. 11-0, the battle for the Bell is won. 34-3 the final. Three times Bell champ. BCSA ready for it.